Hi, it's Martha. I've been reading a lot of good books lately, and I hope you have too. And I wanted to tell you about some novels that I've read recently that I think you might like. I want to recommend them. So the first one is called The Silver Arrow. And this is about Kate and Tom, a sister and brother. And they feel like their lives are lacking in excitement. They really don't feel that anything interesting ever happens to them. And the night before Kate's 11th birthday, she writes to their mysterious Uncle Herbert, who they've never met and who is super rich. And she says, basically, I'd like a birthday present from you, please. And the very next day, he shows up at their house with a full-size steam locomotive, a train in their front yard. And Kate and Tom are thrilled. What a fantastic birthday present. And magical railroad tracks appear out, going out of their yard and out into the world. And Kate and Tom have a fantastic journey on the train. And along the way, they pick up exotic animals and they visit lots of different countries, make some friends. It is a really great story, The Silver Arrow. The next one is Charlie's Horse. And Charlie is 11 and she is horse crazy, horse mad. She reads everything about horses. She knows everything about them. She loves to draw them and collect the figurines. But in fact, in real life, she has not ever been near a horse. She's never been riding or even met a horse. It just hasn't been possible so far. And this particular summer, her 11th summer, her parents decide to send her to riding camp, eight weeks of horse camp. And it sounds fantastic, but in fact, it's pretty difficult at the beginning Horses in person are kind of scary, really huge, and lessons are a little bit terrifying at the beginning. And some of the kids at camp are not very nice. There's a bully, but um, Charlie goes on, uh, soldiers on, and um, uh, faces her fears and um, ends up having a very interesting summer. So Charlie's horse is full of horse stuff, of course, but also friendship stuff and family things and quite, quite interesting. The next one is hilarious, really funny. I laughed so much when I was reading this. This one is called Double the Danger and Zero Zucchini. And that title refers to advice that someone is giving an author about their new book. So Alex is 12 and his Aunt Caroline has decided that she will write a children's book that is aimed at Alex's age. And she decides she'll have Alex read it before she sends it to a publisher so that she can get some advice about is it a good book for his age level and does he have any suggestions. Well, the book is horrible. Alex thinks it's so boring. It's got um, frogs as the main character, and the biggest excitement in the book is a prize-winning zucchini from the garden. And Alex and his friends, who also read it, just think that they have got to help Aunt Caroline write a more interesting book. So the, the three of them and a mysterious ghost writer start to think up plots, plot lines that will be more suspenseful and more dangerous and exciting. And then Alex thinks that uh, to make those plot points um, believable and realistic, that he should act them out before he gives the idea to his aunt. And so they end up acting out all these crazy stunts to see if they're actually possible and then writing the details for his aunt to put in her book. So it's very funny, a wonderful um, story about the writing process and how one gets ideas and how to make a book more interesting and just a fun um, friendship and adventure story too. So double the danger and zero zucchini. <laughs> the next one is a little bit more serious. Ikenga is about a boy in Namdi who lives in Nigeria, in Africa, and his father was the chief of police 
a strong, honest, brave man who was fighting crime in their town, but his father has been murdered mysteriously. And, uh, and Namdi gets a visitation, maybe by a ghost or by a spirit, and he's given this object, this magical object, the Ikenga, and he's told that it will give him superpowers to, to um, do good, he can do good with them. But the superpowers are very overwhelming, almost uncontrollable, and Namdi doesn't know if he can um, kind of harness them for good or if they'll take over and um, make him do something he doesn't want to do. So very exciting. He needs to learn to control the superpowers and he wants to find his father's killer, solve that crime, and in general to fight crime in his town. So Ikenga was very interesting, really interesting details. Okay, the last one is called Karma and Grit. This is book one of a series, and this one is called The Wing Snatchers. And Grit is a fairy princess, kind of a rebel. She doesn't really want to be the princess. She wants to be out and about having adventures. And Karma is a magician's apprentice and an inventor. And they meet and get together, and they team up to try to solve the mystery of something evil that's happening in the fairy world where lots of fairies are disappearing, maybe being kidnapped or being hurt. They don't know. And they both put themselves in danger as well as they try to go into this investigation that's partly in the human world and partly in the fairy world. And the um, uh, magical elements are, are very interesting, as well as uh, the inventions that Karma has made and the magic, um, the, the magic show that the magicians um, do as well. So there's real magic and there's fake stage magic. And so it's pretty interesting. So Karma and Grit, book one, The Wing Snatchers. Exciting. Okay, so I hope you like the sound of some of those, and you can request them from the library and pick them up at curbside service. And always remember that we like to recommend books, and we can re recommend books for you if you can't think of anything to read. And I hope you're doing okay, and hope to see you soon. Bye!